Now, this was uh, on TV yesterday. And uh, I guess they still call it the 700 Club, Fez. Yes. Yep. Uh, the guy from the 700 Club, Pat Robertson, said that the earthquake ravaged Haiti has been cursed due to a pact uh, with the devil. And according to him, some back when uh, France had Haiti and there were black slaves there, those slaves made a deal with the devil. And the devil said, yeah, I'll take that deal. And that's why bad shit keeps happening. And I see this and I'm going, it must be so interesting to have such a simplistic view of the universe that things like that could still... I mean, I find it just fucking fascinating that a man could sit there and he's rich enough that he has television st stations and then somehow coming up with uh, something like this. <laughs> like he doesn't understand the science <laughs> of an earthquake at all. It's just the pact with the devil. Right. And, you know, and doesn't even realize that any of his stuff doesn't make sense. To have a pact with the devil... You'd have to be getting something out of it. I never well, they remember. got their freedom. Oh, well, okay. They got their freedom from France. That was his point. But, you know, to somehow blame that on the great-great-grandchildren of that, so they're still suffering. I was with a guy one time. I'm not even fucking kidding you. And I don't think he was a billionaire, but he had sold a billion-dollar business that he had with somebody else. And then he was in the radio business. He was my boss for a while. And we're... Uh, in a jet of his, a private fucking jet we're flying around, which, trust me, is the way to live. And he was telling me that the earth is owned by the devil. The devil holds the mortgage to the earth, and we're paying rent, trying to get into heaven. And, I'm, um, and, I, and I don't mean metaphorically. I mean literally. Right. This is what he believes. And I'm looking at him, waiting for this... Ah, I'm just fucking with you. Not even now. <laughs> just honestly thinks that there's people with mortgages, and they there's files. Well. And it's the uh, same people with, the, with that literal view of pitchfork and horns and a tail and, you know, fire. The devil lives, just lives in a place of fire. I, I mean... I believe in the devil, but not in a cartoonish way. What but kind I, of devil I, I do you believe in? I believe that there could be some kind of fallen being from God that kind of tests now what makes you believe that? Humans. Um, I, see, here's the way I could, because I think that if you look on a case by case basis, Pat Robertson's an idiot for thinking that an entire fucking country would get wiped out. But why would you think that there's a actual being walking around? To test us because God put God uh, God tests us all the time. So the devil is just yet another thing, another part of God that he allows to test us to see if we're making the right decisions. So the devil is the God's helper. In a way. And I know that sounds bizarre. No, it's it's your fucking belief. You're no nuttier than uh, anybody else's belief. Well, maybe. Because I you're think that if, if the God but, wanted the devil like extinct, I do believe that God has the power to do that. It's God. <laughs> well, I don't know whether you're familiar with this story, but from what I understand, the devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm familiar with that. He was way that. behind. He was looking to make a deal. It's good. But, I mean, that's the kind of devil you think of, somebody that would... Have a contest, like a fiddling contest with you? My devil is more of the fact that he wouldn't be... He, in fact, he did, doesn't take any physical form, but he will say things to you like, why don't you push this guy in front of the uh, subway? Put, go ahead, Dave. Push push the guy in the subway. Like, I actually think the devil has, like, put thoughts into my head before. Not violent thoughts, but, like, I see, like, maybe, maybe a guy in a wheelchair, and I think, like, the devil's, like, said something, like, you know, why don't you go make fun of him, or why, why don't you go kick him, or something like that. So any bad things that you do, you can blame on the devil. Well, no, I mean, I just think that... Uh, you listen to the devil. I, I think if I did that, it would be... I feel like, because I, I, I'll actually say in my head, like, shut the fuck up, devil. Like, this is for real. I don't doubt it for a second. Be be because I think that the, the devil it does put thoughts in your head, and God's cool with that, because he wants to see what kind of person are you going to be. So I'll just say in my... 
in my head. I'm not gonna say it's on out. I'll say in my head, shut the fuck up, devil, and I'll just go on, on my way. But I mean, that's the way I. I kind of feel like that's it. It's more of a case by case basis of testing. And he's doing this to everybody all the time. Yeah. And anybody on the planet who ever does anything bad, devil. Um, I would say Tiger Woods hurts his wife, devil. Yeah. Yes, I would. Now, t- and Tiger, then the t- devil. Had the choice. I'm not going to say it's the devil's fault. It's Tiger's fault. Right. For going but here's the, the interesting thing. Let's suppose uh, the devil says, uh, "I want you to steal something from Ron." Right. Yes. And then you do it. Then the devil would come over to me and go, "Why don't you hit?" Dave in the back of the head, exactly. so he's working us against each other. Ex- exactly. And then it, the devil, when the police arrive, hey, don't try to talk Ron down. Just start shooting him. The right. devil's doing That's that. That's exactly. Too. That is exactly what the devil always wants to turn people so would on you, each other. Would you like to see the news going like this? Well, the devil's business took place today in Harlem. <laughs> Seriously, no, I mean, because if, the person's responsible, they're culp- capable. But culpable. But don't you think the news should also say that they listen to the devil? Well, because no. it sounds like you like the Seven Hundred Club. Um, no, because I don't think because I th- because Pat Robertson's idea of and he also said this with Katrina that New Orleans was a sinful city. Let's kill everyone. Well, there, that that's impossible. There there was old women and men who fucking never probably never hurt anyone who drowned in Katrina. So that I, I don't agree with Pat Robertson at all. But I, I do believe that there is some kind of devil. Yeah, I do believe that. Absolutely. But ultimately, it's the person's fault. And also, if if you go with the devil one time, you're not immediately going into hell. That's what fucking confession's for. That's what contrition is for. And you say to God, man, I fucked up. But you act like these are your thoughts, and they're not. These thoughts that you have now are just stuff that you've been told. The bad, now you're bringing the, back to me. The bad... You know, it's not like you, you've you sat down, you've come up with a theory, you were told some stuff as a baby, and now, you know, you remember bits and pieces, and you're trying to tell it to me. It's not like you've come up with something. Right. You're just doing a really bad job at explaining catechism. Oh. You know, almost like a retarded boy's view of catechism. Okay. So it would be one thing if you said, hey, I've been sitting around pondering this devil thing, but you hadn't. You got little devil stories told to you. You mix some of them up, and then you brought them back here. Right. You know, I would like it well, more if that you had some own, uh, your own personal thought. Now, it's fun to listen to your distorted thoughts. I mean, that's fucking fascinating. Well, no, no one ever told me and, this. I, I think yeah, it's kind it, of a theory that it, I developed. It, it, none of it at all. <laughs> you wouldn't have come up with the word devil, oh. and you wouldn't have come well, up with true. contrition and all that. So none of that belongs to you. Right. Uh, it, it belongs to somebody else who probably had put some thought into it. Uh, and, of course, you're still seeing it through what I like to call baby goggles. Okay. You put on a pair of baby goggles, and you see the world, and you, yeah. you're kind of confused. Right. Um, Fez, you used to believe in the devil. Yes, I used. You used to believe in all these things literally as early as five, six years ago. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe in any sort of devil. I don't believe in any hell. I don't think anyone goes to a hell when they die. You don't think we're here to be tested on Earth? No, I think think people are here on Earth, you know, to find their way and to make, you know, the most of of a life. What difference does it make if you're just going to get to heaven anyway? Because it's still you're still given a life not to so what? you not to waste. Why, what, but there's no penalty if you waste it in your view. Right. It's just a it's just literally not even a flash of a moment in your eternity. If you believe in eternity, you could do eighty years doing anything and it wouldn't mean anything to you. Well it wouldn't even be like a fucking sneezes over a course of a lifetime on earth. So the whole fighting your way, all that shit doesn't really matter that much. That's the beauty of it. Right. Fez's way is can't lose. Yeah. Well. Can't lose. Sounds nice, except for then why even bother with this at all? I see, yeah. Yeah, and... and Where Dave, well it's total anything. testing. You uh-huh. are in a total fucking test. Yes. A constant test. And you better win it. You have to win it. You at least have to have a passing grade. You have to have a 70. Just, right. It's just like school. That's what you want out of life. You want a 70. <laughs> Please, Lord, let me no, get a No, because I'm not, I, I'm not, you know, I'm obviously not without sin, and no one will be. Not even Mother I'll Teresa. I'll tell you this about life and, you know, dealing with the devil. I found the simple life weren't so simple once I got out on that road. I got no love, no love to call real. 
I got nobody waiting at home. But I'm running, running with the devil. Right. That's what I'm doing right well, now. That's the only that's thing Van Halen I'm doing. Song. Huh? It was a Van Halen song. Was? I guess it still is. I don't know if they even are still together. Classic Van Halen <laughs> is touring. They're they going are. to the House of Blues this weekend. Yeah. They'll never make it. <laughs> this could be your this could be your theme song now. <laughs> How often do you think the devil tests you, Dave? I'd say at least five times a day. Like, I'm going to give you a perfect example. When Earl, Earl comes in, like, the devil makes me think of, like, I, this is true, like, really bad racial, like, slurs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I tell the devil sh in my head, shut the fuck up. That, that's Earl. He's my friend. Don't, don't you, say that. You want to drop the end bomb. Because, well, the devil wants That's, to drop the yeah, Is that you or the devil at that point? No, the, the devil put that into my head. I'm telling you. I, I, would not, I was not raised like that. But my parents were not racist, racist at all. Oh, so you why, been, why would all of a sudden I be like know, that? You know the sad thing? What? You would have been so at home in my family. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sad thing. You would have gotten big laughs and high fives. Right, but I think of that stuff all the time. Like, I'll just say I'm going to call on it right now. Um, Tom in Texas, you're in Fez. Uh, yeah, I want to ask, too much government or not enough government? Wow, they're both also very nightmare, you know? <laughs> One, uh, you're living under some kind of communist regime, and we know how depressing that can be. The other one, Mad Max. <laughs> you're basically... If somebody wants the gasoline, they'll cut your head off. You can never feel comfortable with your wife and kid because you're in the road now where right. bands of fucking marauders can come in and fucking rape your chick. I would like someone to come put out the fire if my house got lit. So you go for too much government. I, I think I, I would go for too much government. Too little. Too much They're government. Nightmare. Too much government. You're getting spied on. Too little. Yeah, it's a nightmare, but... You're going to have to fend for yourself. You're going to be but scared. See, you really would be on yourself because you couldn't even be with a gang. I think if you were with a gang, that's kind of a government. Because mm. you start having governing rules. Mm. Uh, here's Heather in Tampa. You're in Montefez. Hey, um, believe it or not, I'm calling to kind of agree with Dave. Um, Thank you. I guess if you're a Christian, you, you believe what the Bible says. and I do. Not everything, that. though, right? Well, um, yeah, and uh, I do. But how could devil you believe in everything? I, I, I don't. I do believe the devil tempts us. Well, if but you, I don't think every bad thing we do is from the devil. Sometimes it's from the devil's helpers. <laughs> Who's it from? I think. I think sometimes it's just human nature. So God has made you a little evil. Um, God has given us a, a choice between good and evil. Right. And we don't always choose good. But if you believe in Jesus, then you're forgiven for the bad things that you've done. So it's a great way out. Well, it's not just a way out. I mean, it's, it's also learning to love. Right, but it's also a great way out that, let's say, you could be really evil for a long period of time and then say, now I get it, now I get Jesus, and you're out. You, you, you could, but I believe it's, um, I believe to be truly saved, the Holy Spirit has to have a part in it. It's not just words that you've said. All right, so how would the Holy Spirit, that's, that God jumps into you then? <laughs> I, be I believe that, you know, just as Dave thinks it's the devil tempting him all the time, I believe that God also speaks to us. So we really have very little to do with this. We're either just hitting a yes or a no. But we're not responsible for the good things we do, nor the bad things we do. We just either let God do the good things or the devil do the bad things. Well, um, there, there's it, it, good... sometimes it seems to me that the God and the devil should have left us out of this little mind games that they both got going on. This really strange relationship between the two of them. It is, but that's why we're humans and they're the God and the devil. I mean, they, we, we can, our human minds cannot possibly understand what their motives are. Your yeah, human mind can't would... really understand most things. Right. So that's kind of like the devil rather... is a God. Yes. Mm, the devil's not a God, no. Um, like a God, Fez said. He's an angel. Angel. Yeah, he's, he's a fallen angel. But um, I, I would much rather... Um, have a faith and know that there is like you know two plus two equals four 
that's why Christians feel like. Well, the Christians, actually, that's, the scientists came up with two plus two <laughs> equals four. It had very little no, to do well, God, with God religion. Well, God invented math, too, if we're going to, you know. <laughs> well, no, not exactly. Human beings had to figure out God's language, which was math. But you, you owe the two plus two equals four to science. Science came up with a way for human beings to understand math. So the oh. you wouldn't have you wouldn't have gotten that. I mean, you're not getting science from the Bible. Agree with that? Um, no, not totally. No. Well, I don't a, think... well, well, Jesus wasn't a scientist, and Jesus didn't come here and tell us any of the same things that we got from Galileo or Copernicus. I mean, but it, it, I don't think at the heart of it that's what's most important. But wouldn't it have been really great, and it would have made me. Even think I mean, obviously the philosophy of Jesus is there. But if he also would have said this, now, the sun that you think revolves around us, we revolve around. And this flat earth is round. And on the yeah. other side of this earth, there are human beings. Yeah. People would have been, been like, fuck, he was ahead of his time. <laughs> but yeah. really, you know, he, he didn't bring any of that. Right. He didn't that would have really been a kick-ass Jesus. Right, but we don't know that there wasn't a maybe some kind of other Jesus in you know North America kind of doing the same thing. Well, you would know that if you did follow the Bible the way that you said, that they went out of their way to say there is no other word but right. this. Okay. So that's the way for you to know. That's why you're, you weren't raised a Mormon. No, yeah, that's true. So now what do you tell me? <laughs> I'm just saying, God works in mysterious ways.